people here are from many different countries. You're going interplanetary, but you're not going international. When are you going to hire people from other countries than the U.S.? Yeah, so I think people are a bit confused about this. Um, uh, unfortunately, it, it, this is not up to us. So the, the U.S. government regulations, um, uh, well, they make, they make um, getting a job in the U.S. hard as it is, get, just getting a job easier hard as it is. But if you're working on rocket technology, that's considered an advanced weapons technology. So even a normal work visa isn't sufficient um, unless you get um, a, a, a special permission from the Secretary of Defense and, uh, or, the St uh, or the Secretary of State. Um, so uh, I want to be clear, this is not some, out of some um, desire of SpaceX to just hire people with, with green cards. It's, it's because we're not allowed to do anything else. Um, and I, I mean, I, I think this is not a wise thing for, this is not a wise policy for, for uh, you know, for the U.S. because there's so many talented people all around the world uh, that we would love to have work at our company, um, but unless the, uh, unless they can somehow get a green card, we can't. We're just uh, we're, we're legally prevented from from hiring anyone. Um, but for example, this is not the case at Tesla. At Tesla, um, we're about about uh, a quarter of our engineering team um, is from outside the U.S. and um, maybe even 30 percent um, because we don't have the ITAR restriction. Um, so. It'd be, I really wish we could do more, it's just our hands are tied.